Let's fire up your massage gun and help your TMJ at the same time. We're gonna start with a 45 degree neck stretch. You're gonna take, you take your left hand, I'll take my right, and we're just gonna pull your head 45 degrees. We're gonna open this place called the suboccipital area. When this gets tight, this gets tight. So let's go ahead, we're gonna take that massage gun and just gently put it right on there. If you feel dizzy or you feel just weird in any way, stop immediately. This is a, a area of a lot of proprioceptors and it can take some adaptation for your body to handle it. If that's the case, it, it come down a little bit further towards your trapezius muscle right in there and just pull and tug on that and just allow the vibration to take that stretch even further. This is a sort of a mantra of relaxation and allowing that jaw to not be so tense, to not clinch, to relax and track properly. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go right from there into, oh, that just feels so good. I don't know if I wanna end this right now. Let's go right into your trap now and just pull and allow that vibration to vibrate your face, relax your face, tuck the chin and pull with your other hand. Great. So now we're going to go into, there's a zygomatic area, this bone right here. We're going to go from there down. Okay, but we're going to support the jaw. I don't want to waggle it around too much. Okay, so we're going to go right into that area and do it light. Get a light touch and just pull it down. We're going to pull that masseter muscle down just like that. So you go right almost to that bone and get in there. You might find your jaw handles a little bit more uh, or you might find oh, this is just too much, and then just barely, just barely feel that, that vibration. Good, we're gonna get rid of some inflammatory exudates, we're gonna decrease some spasming, we're gonna help that TMJ. Okay, now I want you to open your jaw and pull it down. Open your jaw and pull it down. Smile, let's have fun with this and open and pull it down. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction. So you're gonna start from the, from the corner here and you're gonna close your jaw and then you're gonna open it like this as you come up. Let's do five of these. Open and bring the massage gun up. Good. Okay, our next muscle is the temporalis muscle. The temporalis is also a clincher. Uh, as you've seen from my other TMJ videos, I'm all about getting the clinchers to relax. And so we're gonna support again, and we're gonna open and come up on the temporalis, just like this. And as with anything, give yourself good posture, pull your shoulders down, engage your abs a little bit, let that chest just rise. You might find you can handle it a little harder or a little softer. Sometimes the, the, the massage gun going a little faster makes it so you don't bounce around so much. I'm going on a lower setting just because the higher setting does make a little more noise. Good. Now let's go ahead and go, oh, feels so good, doesn't it? Let's go to the other side. So take the massage gun on the other hand. Let's go 45 degrees and tuck. Most likely you're gonna have a little soreness in there somewhere. And let's get right up, if you can handle it, on these suboccipitals and work that area. You'll see in my other videos we do a occipital lift where we lift that occipital and we lift the temporalis bone. Okay, so now we're coming down into the neck, tucking, relaxing your face. There we go. You're bringing your body great joy right now. You're taking care of you. What could be more of a gift to you and the people around you? Good, now let's go right into the trap and pull, tuck that chin. That chin should really be able to touch your sternum. If it can't, you'll have to look at my six way neck stretch video. Good, and just allowing that face to relax. Just diving into this. This is no problem. Okay, let's go into that masseter now. Give yourself a little support on this side. Go right to the zygomatic arch. 
And we're just gonna come down like this. Oh, feels good. Nice and supported. You don't wanna go right on the joint at this point. Feel that head vibrate. Let your body relax. There you go. Good, so now we're gonna to go to the corner and we're gonna just give it continued support but open as you bring it up. So we're, as you're stretching the muscle out, How do you spell relief? Targeted vibration. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now let's do that same thing up at the temporalis muscle. So we're gonna come up and open your jaw. Now, a little cross fiber even, just back and forth like this. Some of you might notice in the mornings, this muscle's really tight because you've been clinching. So maybe you wanna do this in the evening before you go to bed and prep it, get it to relax so that you're ready to just fall asleep so your mouth is closed but relaxed. I have a lot of people do mouth tape. Believe it or not, clinching, you can actually get more clinching when you're mouth breathing, believe it or not, the body tries to wake itself up a bit. Now, believe it or not, the ribs can come in like this and cause you to the forward head posture. And so we're gonna get the rib heads. We're gonna start with a chin tuck first though, coming here, tucking the chin and bringing the ears back over your shoulder. You're gonna hold that the whole time. Then we're gonna pinch the shoulder blades back and now we're gonna go for the rib heads right in here. Actually, it's called the chondrosternal junction where the it's, there's actual cartilage there. You have a rib, then you have cartilage, then you have the sternum. So we're gonna work that junction and you're going to talk like this, having fun. Okay, and just get each one, just opening those ribs a little bit. Good. Keep the chin tucked. Keep that countenance of happiness and just pull the shoulders down and pull them back, opening in the chest. So now we're gonna come over and we're gonna go on the pectoralis minor muscle. So we're gonna come over just below your clavicle. That's the one that when you're at the computer, your, your shoulders are hunching forward. We're gonna stretch that one out and do a little massage on it. Leveraging a wonderful battery, great technology. And just work right under that clavicle. This is great for also helping prevent something like thoracic outlet syndrome. Good, other side. Oh, you might even feel that a little bit in that pec minor. You might feel a little, ooh, there's something going on in there. Follow that, go with that. Delve in there. So now we're gonna do the open mouth exercise where you take the tip of your tongue and you're pushing it the jaw down and curling the tongue forward with good posture. If this doesn't feel right, don't do it, but it should feel okay. Now we're gonna support one side while we do that and get that masseter. <laughs> My face is just jiggling all over the place here. Ooh! Okay, let's go other side. Feels good on the ears too. You're angling it down. You're skimming over that master muscle. Okay, now we're gonna stretch out your masseter with your finger and then get on it with the massage gun. So let's go ahead and take the, your finger, go here, follow the upper ridge of your gums, coming down into it and push that muscle out right there. So the back of your mouth. And now 
They saw it going up. You're just getting the muscle and really not contacting any bone. Oh, relaxed jaws. Mmm. With the jaw, you really want to fill your mind with positive things. You know, joy, peace, things that are good, true, happy, right? So there's less tension here. Let's go to the other side. Stretch it out and just go right on. Find a, pen, find a painful spot. Oh, good shot. Beautiful. You're doing great. I have a library of TMJ videos. Find the ones that work for you and get yourself feeling better.